was like, one, two, three, four. He was counting the 2.5 like that. Cash, like some old woman at, 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 at a post office. I'm like, what is this? and welcome back to the commission of inquiry into mzansi gossip if you are a new subscriber you are welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome a home community member and if you are a passerby i hope you like what you see enough for you to come back next time so today the commission has a few recommendations for some k who is the leader or the protagonist of uh the gumbis the new show on SABC One. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me do a quick rundown. Somke is a man living in South Africa in KZN. He's a, a polygamist. He apparently is a mining magnate and that's how he made his money. And basically, he has a reality show with one of the biggest um, um, television channels in South Africa. And what he does every week is go onto his show of his, clearly, what he plans to do is go onto the show of his every week and just throw his money in our face just throw his money in our face unprovoked just completely unprovoked so today i'm actually doing a quick review of um episode three of season one of the Kumbis. i'm annoyed today guys i'm annoyed the grand madame is annoyed today the commission's got a few recommendations for some k today firstly the first recommendation is for his wives why are you letting that man bleach his skin like this why are these two women letting that man bleach his skin like this? He looks like a pig. He looks like a fried pig. He's dark over here. He's pink over here. Why are you letting that happen to this grown man, a full father? You are irresponsible. And the commission recommends that you tell that man to stop bleaching his skin. It is irresponsible. He's going to get cancer and he'll die quickly. Unless that's what you want. Unless these two women want that man to get cancer, to die quick so they can spare his money irresponsibly. If that is your plan, ladies, congratulations. I see the plan. Continue. If that's not the plan, stop it. Stop it. Tell him to stop. Let's move on to the meat of the episode, which is some case irresponsible display of wealth, guys. I'm going to run a video quickly right now of what happened in today's show and then we'll get into the meat of that so I can give my recommendation and get the hell out of here because I'm sick of him. I don't even know if I'll watch next week's episode. Run the video. So guys, like I said, this was episode three of season one of the Kumbis. Uh, Some K went to an umembeso uh, for one of his cousins or something who was getting married. And apparently part of the Zulu culture, I'm not Zulu, I'm Soto. Part of the Zulu culture is that at a umembeso, uh, the bride or the person who's been membeso, uh, is, uh, receives money, you know, um, just to sort of like a going away gift that, oh no, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, you can go. Uh, Umembe, so the traditional, um, it's a traditional event in a young woman's life when she's about to get married. 
So the commission is not saying that Song K should not go and support his cousin or his sister or whoever that person was who had the umembes. That's fine. And like we said, it is tradition that at these kinds of events, the bride-to-be would receive money from the guests. That is also perfectly fine. The problem of the commission is the way in which Song K seems to have around 10,000 rand of money in his hand. Did you see how that man had wads of cash in his hand? I'm not Zulu, guys. So you can, can all of the Zulu me members of the community comment down below if this is, the, is this what happens at, at these kind of events? Do you traditionally or normally have around 10,000 rand? Do you carry wads of money at events like this? Is this what happens? Because if this is what happens at these kinds of events, then maybe, maybe the commission is now, you know, out of order. And if we are out of order, we will, we will admit to it. But right now, it seems to me to be an irresponsible show of wealth and an irresponsible show of money in a time when people have lost their jobs in South Africa because of the pandemic and because of the lockdowns that we had at the beginning of the year. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people's lives have been disrupted. And here is some K, a public figure at the sensitive time showing us or brandishing his money in this most irresponsible way. Guys, he was counting Goma 67, 68, 69. At some point, the girls who were around him got tired of counting. At some point, he even said, Senkate Lukbal. Like, what is this? I'm not jealous, guys. And no one is saying some K shouldn't have money. He's got, listen, this is some K's money. I'm not, I'm not even going to accuse him of having a snake because these days when a black person has money, people say, no, it must be the snake. No, this is some case money. He was worked very hard for the money, I'm sure, and I believe. But let's be responsible as black people, as black leaders. Let's be responsible and let's take into account where we are and, and, and the kind of climate that our favorite fellow black people are living in. And I'm not saying that he should dim his light because everybody else lost a job. Because the fact that he's got the show, he's not dimming his light because everybody else has the job. We still watch the show and us watching makes him more money. And we appreciate that he has money and it shows us that it's possible for black people to have money. But you cannot walk around with 10,000 rand like this, Tom K, and expect people not to wonder why is it not in the bank. Unless, unless this is how people enter the umembes. They enter with a vosho and a word of cash. Maybe this is what happens. You have a vosho, you have a word of cash. It's a party, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I'm the one who's not Zulu. I'm not of Zulu uh, origin, you know? So I don't know. So basically, I'm confused by some king. I'm confused by this just this, this utter irresponsible way in which he chooses to brandish his money to us and very unprovoked just throwing his money in our face in a very unprovoked manner and we take exception to it okay please be a responsible leader you can go to the women bed so have three thousand yarn and say ah you know i had three thousand for my china there you go yeah good for you you know ten thousand hi some k a word of cash is very irresponsible irresponsible especially more especially at this time in South Africa, where a lot of people are appearing before the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture, where there have been allegations of people walking around with wads of cash. So when we see people with wads of cash these days, we're like, hmm, that's suspicious. But no one is saying that I'm not... I am, I am under no circumstances saying that Som K is involved in all of that whole fanfare and all of that nyaga nyaga of this um, state capture. He is not involved. I am sure his name has never been included in any of that. So I'm not saying he's involved. I'm just saying that the word of cash in today's episode and the word of cash that he had last week when he was at the... Uh, um, they went to a plastic surgeon's office when he was at the plastic surgeon's office and they said, I think it was 2.5 or something. He was like, one, two, three, four. He was counting the 2.5 like that. Cash! Like some old woman at, 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 at a post office. I'm like, what is this? Why does he just not tap? What, what crazy stuff is this?
Why is he like a seven, eight? For a rich guy, he just doesn't seem to have money on a bank card. It's funny to me. It's suspicious for the commission. It's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. But it must be stated, it must be made very clear that the commission is not accusing Some K of anything. We are not accusing him of being some sort of mafia gang because we all know he made his money legitimately. But the commission will make a recommendation today that Some K stop having words of cash like this irresponsibly. You can have 2,000, 5,000, yeah. 10,000 in a stack like this. It even looked like he had 20,000 in a stack. If you've got money like that, right now, in the climate we're living in, it looks shady, it looks funny. So the commission is making a recommendation today that if you're going to have your words of money, some K, keep it between you and God. It's your business. You, God, and your wives. That's your business. Stop showing us money that you're counting like this. It's irresponsible. And a lot of young boys are going to try to copy you, but they're going to get that money in very illicit ways. So stop it. Be responsible. Be responsible. So that's the recommendation of the commission today. I hope you guys liked today's video. I will be doing another video later on our other polygamist Musam Selegu. And I want to also do a video on Bushiri and that whole saga. But stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Smooches.